So this is Curly Indy One coming back with another video to you guys. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for clicking. Um, don't forget to join the family and click that subscribe button so you can see when I post a new video. And if you're not, welcome back. Ooh, that was ugly. Sorry guys about that. But yes, you see by the title we're about to get into. This is a highly request. I put it off for a very long time for multiple reasons. But yes, it's finally here. So let's get right into it. <laughs> okay, so first thing we're going to get into is filming um, equipment. So I am currently filming on my Canon um, 4X um, SX730 um, HS. So this is currently my favorite camera of all times. Don't get me wrong. Um, sometimes I have trouble focusing, but on the most part, it's always catching my face. It's always catching the things that I needed to focus on, like this, like that, you know? And it is wonderful, especially as a um, new YouTuber. So this is definitely a great quality camera for the price of it because I think I spend like maybe... Um, six fifty or five fifty, and I went onto the Canon website. Everything was there. Everything was affordable. Everything was nice and easy. And then also, it came with um a a SIM card as well. Like other cameras or other yeah other cameras that I was looking at didn't come with a um SIM card. So thank you Canon cameras for supporting <laughs> me with a free SIM card on top of the purchase that I made. <clears throat> okay, so I currently use two tripods. Um, why? Because one is bigger than the other and sometimes I don't want to carry the big one. But yes, these are the two tripods I currently use for all of my vlogs because I don't want to carry my camera personally. If you guys see my other recent bar um, vlog, you see I dropped my camera because I didn't have my tripod. So yeah, <laughs> I was pissed but yes definitely go check out my um most recent vlog as well it'll be right here as a suggestion for you guys but another equipment that i currently use and that makes my videos stunning because look at me look at me yeah look at me baby is this big ring light this absolutely big ring light um don't worry guys everything will be down in the description bar down below everything is from amazon 99.99 percent of the time so <laughs> yeah um but um how i set up my ring light is is kind of unique but i think people are catching on to this so i basically um only use one um one of these clear things to cover the light and that's at top because I don't want the light shining on my forehead because my forehead's already big but yeah the rest of it is open and it's shining bright onto my skin making my melanin look good natural and so forth and so on because you guys see I always keep my shades down so I don't get natural sunlight when I film my videos and also I film my videos all different times of the day so yeah I want to Make sure I have a trusty, handy um, ring light. So, yeah, that definitely comes in handy. Okay, so I think I'm all set with that section. Let me think. Mm, yeah. So now I'm going to go into editing equipment. So the first thing I use is, <laughs> yeah, my handy, dandy, trusty that edits all my videos. Yes, all my videos is my um, Apple Mac Pro. When I tell you this definitely comes in handy, this definitely comes in handy. Um, the software I use is um, iMovie. Yes, A, it's free. It comes with the laptop. And B, it's free. Yeah. Another thing I use is my um, iPad Pro. When I tell you my iPad Pro comes in handy when I'm on the go and I want to um, edit on the go. So, yeah, all I do is slip it into my bag and make sure everything is there nice and handy dandy yep you already know the vibes <laughs> so yeah so i um also use my dongles um because if some may have the updated version of the um, macbook pro you know you can't just put a 
SUD card in, you have to have the dongle, plug it in, and then put the SUD card in the dongle. So, yeah, it's kind of a hassle, but I have accommodated or I have got used to it after all these months, years. I think it's been two years since I've been on YouTube. Yeah. But, yes, this is what it looks like. And I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bar. Okay, um, before we get down into it and, like, actually see behind the scenes of editing, everything of that sort on my, um, MacBook Air using my iMovie for free, um, this is a question that I get constantly and so freaking much. So why not just ask, um, why not just answer it right then and there and the question is how long does it take you to edit <laughs> yes how long does it take you to edit um so a it definitely depends on what you're editing and b it depends on how much editing or how much footage you have in that particular video so it takes me like three to four hours but just for example um my um weekly vlog bowling um, movies and more that took me that would be right here that took me like mm, three three and a half hours why because a it was um 54 minutes and one second long and um b because i was like i had so much footage for just one day <laughs> yeah i just had so much footage just from one day so i edited um yeah i edited it after every single day so it didn't it didn't feel that much, but I was like, okay, why not just time myself and see how long it takes me every single day. So, yeah, it took me like an hour every single day. Sometimes I do it in one section or, yeah, one section. I just sit here and, like, keep on doing it. And then sometimes I have to split it up because, like, when I tell you, I get so aggravated or so frustrated. I get so aggravated and so frustrated. Like, when you're motivated and dedicated to do something, you're going to get frustrated. Why? Because you want it to be perfect and you want it to actually look outstanding and 100%. So, yeah. But let's get right into it. Okay, so first we have the rough cut. Um, So this is basically where I just import all my footage that I have on my Canon camera onto um, my, my MacBook, basically. And when I tell you it's rough, it's rough. <laughs> because I stutter, I mess up, I do all these particular things that I don't like or I don't want to show you guys. But sometimes the truth has to come out and sometimes you guys have to see it. And right now is right now. Um, so I just basically edit out all my ums or all my mess ups and then I clip it away. Um, I just command C. Yeah, command C to cut and then um, command P to like import because sometimes I want to import another like video or another picture into my um, video because sometimes I record on my phone or sometimes I take pictures on my phone. So I just want to import that and make sure the video is fabulous because i want you guys to enjoy all my videos that i post and if you guys don't just make sure you comment down below and tell me uh i think you should change this up or uh i don't like that and i will definitely accommodate why because i'm here for you guys and vice versa and also why doing the um rough cut i always add um text overlays sound effects um what else transitions and so much more because like the rough cut is like where I make sure everything is like input and then I go in and be like okay let me actually watch it fully through and then if there's any other edits that I need to do I will definitely do so okay so um the text overlays that I currently use and in love with is pop-up um gravity um what else what else do I use? Oh, focus. Focus, lower, third. And then just focus, original. Why? Because when I add my um my Instagram, like right here, I use um focus, lower, third when I do that. And then when I use gravity and then pop-ups are mainly in my um vlogs because I want to make sure you guys are still there, still here with me, like, 
boom right here like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe pop up pop up pop up pop up pop up <laughs> but yes those are the over um text overlays that i use okay, so the text that i currently use or the text i currently in love with is um american um typewriter and um georgie but it also depends on the type of theme that i'm going for in each of my videos so it might change but the only one or the only two that i really actually truly use are these yes baby yes it's giving it's definitely giving because american typewriter and um georgie is like natural and out there you know um so next is sound effects when i tell you sound effects i really don't actually use why because there's not a lot of sound effects that i want to implement onto my videos unless it's like a this type of moment <gasps> or a like ooh, or you know but sound effects that can definitely be found right here and definitely check them out because they have a lot of selections that's one thing i like about imovie a you have a lot of selections don't get me wrong you can have more selections but for free you can't complain you definitely can't complain so these are the sound effects right here definitely experiment with them i definitely have but sometimes i don't want to add sound effects but i'm definitely going to implement them in the future because i want them or i want my videos to be like more eye-catching and more attractive to people okay so now we have transition so i pretty, i basically use transition when i'm going from one clip to another um because it's fancy like why not be fancy in your videos you know but um <laughs> it's just depending on my mood everything depends on my mood because you can't be the same typical person in each and every video don't get me wrong there um there is a thing about consistency and having like this one particular theme but transitions is not one of them for me baby transition is not one of them but the transition that i currently use is swing um swipe out swipe in what else do i use mm, what else what else oh swipe left swipe right but the main ones or the main one that i use is um split yeah split in and split out and this is how it looks how did that look guys how did that look like tell me if i'm winning in the comments down below um but yeah sometimes i really don't actually use um transition because i want it to be natural as possible i just want it to flow but if i do use a transition it's like mainly when i'm in one section of the house like my bedroom and then i'm in the kitchen like you need to have a transition you need to make sure it's flowing shoo, 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 you know <laughs> okay so the next one is um screen crop um, when I tell you, I really don't use screen crop as much, but when I do, I like want to put emphasis on something that I'm saying or an awkward moment. So this is how the one that looks zoom in and this is how it looks zooming out because those awkward moments in videos, I know everyone had a time they had an awkward moment. I know they had a time because don't we all? Don't we all? Okay. But yes, um. It's really helpful. It's really good on iMovie, and this is how it actually looks because, some like before, I didn't know what screen crop was until I actually was actually when I was actually um on iMovie and exploring all the different features. But yes, this is how it looks, and you could find it right here, and definitely explore. Definitely try it out because it's definitely gonna make an impact on your videos, and that's what you want, right? that's what you want to grow your youtube channel to grow subscribers to grow people that are watching right so definitely try it out and this is how it look last section that we have is music music is so important like i don't like before i started my youtube channel or when i was like two months into my youtube channel yes definitely go look at those old old videos because it was like Mm, yeah it was horrible but you have to show progress before you glow up right but yes music is so important music is so important if it's in the background or if it's like playing um during a certain section of the video where you're showing the landscape or whatever you're showing it's definitely important 
People notice. People notice because I was like, no, people don't notice. People don't notice. They did. They did. So definitely add music. Um, what do I use? What music do I use? I always use uncopyrighted music. Always uncopyrighted music. I always go on um SoundCloud or I just go to YouTube directly. Um, and on my SoundCloud, I already have some like music choices that I like and like some background music that I truly actually in love. And that's uncopyright. And then this is how you do the one on um YouTube. You just type in uncopyrighted music. There's a whole selection and then download it to your choice or however you want to download it because I download it to my um my drive and then upload it to my video so yeah it just depends on the person but yes that definitely comes in handy that is definitely helpful and don't forget to always add music no matter what no matter what no matter what no matter what okay and this is pretty much all how i film and edit all my youtube videos i truly truly hope this was truly helpful because i had so many questions so many dms so much from you guys that i truly actually in love with and don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your notification bar so you see when i post a new video and let's get up to 250 subscribers guys i'm almost at 200 i only need one more i don't know like I don't know what's up with you guys. Like, sometimes y'all be playing with my emotions. But we're not going to get into that. But, yes, peace, love, and happiness. And have a great day. And you guys will be seeing this tomorrow, Saturday. Bye, guys.